Welcome to this rock, paper, scissors, Python coding tutorial. Let's get straight into it. First, you're gonna open up a new file in Python. Our first step is we're gonna use a, a module called random. So we're gonna type import random. Next, we're going to set a variable that's going to hold our answer for the rock, paper, scissors. So we're gonna call that play one. And so we're gonna take an input and the prompt will be rock, paper, or scissors. Next, we need to make sure that this input is taken as a string, which is a set of letters instead of just an integer. Next, let's make sure to capitalize. This means that the first letter can be either capitalized or lowercase, and it will automatically default to capital, which will help us later. Next, let's make a variable for our bots, our opponents play. So for that, we're gonna use our random module. So random.randint, this will generate a random integer between one and three, just like that. Each of these numbers, one, two, and three, are going to correspond to rock, paper, and scissors. So let's go ahead and make a way that we can trans translate from numbers to words. If play two equals one, then let's say that play two is going to equal rock. So now when it's one, it will equal rock. Next conditional, we're gonna use elif. So this basically means after it checks the if conditional on top, it's gonna to go to the elif and check that statement. So we're gonna say if play two equals two, then we're gonna have play to become paper. Capitalized, of course. We'll do an elif once more for our third conditional, and that's just gonna be play two equals three, and when it's three, it's going to be scissors. Play two equals scissors as a string. That's why we have the quotes. Now we're going to print what our opponent has chosen to play. Bot is going to play, play two. Lastly, we just have to write statements that show that we either tied, won, or lost the round. So let's dive straight into another conditional. If play one is equal to play two, then that means we're going to print a statement that says it's a tie. Because if we both play the same thing, we're just gonna tie. It's a tie. Just like that. Next, we're gonna use elif. In this case, we're gonna to have to write out all the scenarios in which we will win a round. So first off, we're gonna say elif play one equals rock. So that means if we play rock and play two, our opponent, if they play scissors, we will win. So that is our first condition. So next, if we play paper and the opponent plays rock, we will win. So we'll just type that out. Play one equals paper and play two equals rock. And lastly, if we play scissors and the opponent plays paper, we will win as well. So play one equals scissors and play two equals paper. There we go. Just like that, now we come back and we type out our print statement, which is simply you win. So we can simply type else and then print you lose. So this basically is just saying, no matter what, if none of the two conditions above are correct, we're just going to lose. So there we go. That's our entire code written out just like that. Now let's give it a run. Rock, paper, or scissors? I would like to play rock. The bot played scissors, we win, just like that. Very nice, let's try again. Rock, paper, scissors, let's try paper. Scissors, ooh, we lost. That's unfortunate, let's try again. Rock, paper, scissors. Here's an important thing to note. Here you can type your answers either as capital in the front or lowercase. So this first letter, it doesn't matter whether it's capital or lowercase, it'll work either way. So we play scissors, they, the bot played paper, we win. Very nice. Let's just do one more for kicks. Let's play rock once more. The bot played rock, so we tied. And there you have it. That's the entire rock, paper, scissors code in just 20 lines. I hope this video has helped you out and I hope to see you in another video. Peace.